gentlemen so welcome to this video um, uh, in this video I will demonstrate the technique of performing US gutter gobbler drainage in a patient that is at very high risk for cholecystectomy and suffering from acute cholecystitis so just then um, you could see the single step devices the cautery enhanced single step devices uh, being inserted directly into a very distended gallbladder and on the x-ray image uh, you can see I was advancing the delivery system whilst at the same time my assistant was uh, advancing the uh, guide wire you can see the gallbladder was extremely distended um, in general um, if you are confident you could just insert the delivery system and don't use the wire but as you can see, my scope position is a bit um, unstable right here. So the wire was inserted. Um, the stent is steadily being opened. Um, this is a hot specs stent. The stent is opened by the assistant. You can see three marks. And this uh, stent was opened to the middle mark. And um, right there, I was pulling back my stent. So you can see on the ears image, you can see the flange coming into view. The stand was half opened. So I positioned the half opened point at the junction between gallbladder and the duodenum. Uh, thereafter, the stand was opened in the channel of the echoendoscope and pushed out into the duodenum. Uh, in general, I prefer to place the stand in the duodenum because we see much less problems of food uh, entering into the stent in, into the gallbladder and also we don't see any um, buried stent syndrome uh, after the stent was completely deployed uh, I usually don't dilate the stent um, you can see some very turbid bile coming out and usually it will open up the next day in terms of follow-up uh, these patients uh, can either have a long-term stenting or receive a follow-up endoscopy four weeks later for stone clearance. Thank you.